F E O. Close your eyes and visualize that big spring. The moment when I met you from the start. Down in my heart, I knew for sure I never would forget you. Now I see what I used to be. Oh, I'll never be again. Oh, I remain forever changed. Touch my hand and life began as I stood there staring at an angel. Time stood still when you revealed that tender smile to a perfect stranger. I see what I used. Just like a rock, standing strong and steady for what it's worth. When I leave this earth, oh, because of you, I know I will be ready. Now I see what I used to be. T. Graham Brown. Brown. Did Brown. you write that? No, I didn't. I wish I had. Dan Penn and Carson Whitsett, the late great Carson Whitsett, and gosh, Bill, I should know the other writer, but I don't. Well, I just wondered if you did. The way Miss Sheila was looking at you while you were singing that was like he was singing that just for you. Is he a romantic? Yes. Is he really? So this this big guy, big <laughs> clown that we all cut up with, and, and he's really a romantic yes, at he heart? Is. He is. When it comes to her, I am. <laughs> I would not be here. I would not be here. Amen. Wow. Mm. She pulled you through some pretty tough times. What's the best thing about being married to T. Graham Brown? It's never a dull moment. <laughs> Okay, don't get choked up now, but tell, <laughs> tell me the story. You started to tell me, and I said, wait till we get in the studio, about um, the midget. You were married well, by a midget or something? <laughs> little people. You, that's, little people. 
Sheila and I had gotten, we had already sent out announcements that we got married on November the 30th. So we had to get married. It was a Sunday. So our plan was to get in the car and go up to Lake Burton, which is in North Georgia. And we passed about five churches. So we were just going to pull in there and catch a church coming out and get the preacher <laughs> to, to marry us. Well, we got a late start and, and all the churches were gone. We stopped at everyone, nobody there. So we finally got to this next town. It was getting dark and I called up the police department and asked them if they had knew us justice of the peace. So they gave me this name and I called it up and this woman this answered, it was, hello. And man, I thought, oh no, I said, and I gave her name and I ain't gonna say her name. Is this, yeah, this is her. And uh, I said, can you marry her? She said, yeah, I can't come on. I'm in my bathrobe, I had to uh, work last night. So, so she said, you know where the prison is, Alto. <laughs> so I said, yes ma'am. She said, go to Alto, take a right, go to four way stop, take a left with the third house on the right. I said, okay. So we went to Alto, took a right, went to the four-way stop, and there were three paved roads, and one on the left was a dirt road that we had to turn on. We kind of looked at home, man. So we got down there, and the third house on the right was a trailer. It was this beat-up old trailer, and it, I'm telling you, it was a quintessential thing. There was car up on blocks, and there was these little kids out there playing. They were nasty. And, she, and Sheila was looking at me like, please don't, let's don't have to do it. So we knocked on the door, and this midget, with warts all over his arms. He had, war he had warts all over his face. And we asked him, you know, we said, we said, is she home? And he said, yeah, she's home. So we came in there and she was a midget and had warts all over. And there was one guy, there was a guy sitting over there and he had, a, I remember he had a tank top and he had stripes going around. He was sitting over there with his hair slicked back, drinking a tall Paps Blue Ribbon. So the lady, the lady got up out of her uh, lazy boy and uh, she said, y'all want the long ceremony or the short? She went, short. I mean, she barely, barely got it. So she gave us this, this quick thing, and they took a Polaroid of us, and there's a naked light bulb hanging right above our head in that trailer. And so I had a tall blue ribbon with a guy, and we went on to the lake. And that was how many years ago? That was 1980. The secret to a lasting marriage. Yeah, the secret to a lasting marriage. <laughs> So Sheila, wait a minute. So Sheila went to town one time and went to the courthouse and this woman said, did, did you get married? I thought y'all were getting married. And she said, yeah, we got married. And she said, I never got the paperwork. So I had to go back and call that woman up. We went back to the prison, took a right, four-way stop, <laughs> took a left, and had to go back there and get the woman to sign it again, fill out a thing. She said, you want me to send it in? So she said, Sheila, no, we're we'll, we'll going to send it in ourselves. You know? So a woman midget with the warts. <laughs> But it's lasted. Look how many years. You, you had the short ceremony, but the long marriage. And that's, that's the best God way to have it. God bless your heart. God bless your heart, too.